Hey, it's Greg from His Dolls, and I just got new packages from Integrity Toys. All my life I've been trying, trying to be me. All right, so yeah, we're getting into the second package. Um, you can see in my other video, you can see it right back here. We have Night Out Aaron Solston. I think that was the name of it, right? Yes, Night Out Aaron Solston. Um, I already have her unboxed and reviewed and everything, so you can go see that in another video. But I am excited to now get into my other IT doll that I have bought. So this is another basic doll like the last one. Um, but the difference is this one did not come with like an additional accessory pack or anything that you could purchase additionally. Um, she came as just a base doll. And she is from the Fashion Royalty line. So Erin over there is from the New Face line. And there's multiple lines within integrity toys oh yeah this is integrity toys i kind of forgot to do the spiel like integrity toys um i bought these dolls are still for sale when i'm recording this um on the integrity toys website um i'm a part of the w club so i did get a reduced price but these dolls are not exclusive to the w club you can get them on the integrity toys website right now hopefully they're still up uh but yeah these are really cool dolls and i'm really excited so i'm going to go ahead and open her like I was saying, uh, that Aaron is a new face doll, and then this um, one... Oh, I didn't even say which doll this was. This is Bombshell Beach Natalia Fatal. Um, she is the Fashion Royalty based doll that was um, up for sale. Um, I grabbed her because I was very excited by... New Face and Fashion Royalty are probably my favorite lines from Integrity Toys. They also have lines like Poppy Parker, Meteor... Um, I think there's a couple other, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Oh, East 59th, that's another. But these are my two favorite lines, and I loved both of the dolls they had to offer. So I went ahead and bought them. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into Natalia. Started to open her some, and here she is. She is so, so stunning. So beautiful. Um, and she ha is coming with a bathing suit. She is not as deluxe as i would say aaron is especially with the additional accessories um she just comes in a swimsuit with a couple of accessories but the doll herself is really like the showstopper for me so this is her and her packaging she is so beautiful then she has accessories over here she has some glasses that have a chain on them it looks like oh no that's a bracelet um, some glasses, a bracelet, and some earrings right here. Then we have her in her bathing suit, which is a very showy bathing suit. Looks really nice on her. Um, she has her manicured hands, and then she has these shoots, these shoes here. And then her stand, and she'll also have the base to her stand on the back of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and open her. Get her opened up. I'm excited. So... This is actually going to be my first Fashion Royalty doll, um, this Natalia, because I have a new fantasy doll, which is, I, I may be wrong, I'm not like <laughs> perfect with the um, Integrity Toys lore exactly, um, but I do believe new fantasy is like a variation of, a variation of, oh sorry, I'm trying to get this open. New Fantasy is a variation of New Face. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so I have a New Fantasy doll, the Vanessa Perrin Smoke and Shadows, which will be tagged in a playlist um, for my Integrity Toys. Then I have Trixie Mattel, who you can see back there. And she's her own kind of brand. Um, and so this will be my first Fashion Royalty doll. And I think Fashion Royalty is a really beautiful line with some beautiful dolls. Right here we have her base, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that out. She has just like a clear acrylic stand base. A really big one, too. This is way bigger than Aaron's stand base or Trixie's. Um, I'm going to start untying these ties to get her out. So I'm really excited, and I think Natalia is one of their prettiest face molds. Um, they Integrity Toys names their characters by their face molds, I believe, um, is how it's done. My favorite face mold, which I genuinely, off the top of my head, I cannot remember if it, it if that, this face mold that I'm about to bring up, I don't know if it's New Face or Fashion Royalty. 
I can't remember off the top of my head. But my favorite is Alejandra Luna. Um, she is a trans character that they have, and she is so, so, so stunning. I think she is so beautiful, and I definitely want to get my hands on an Alejandra Luna doll. Um, so far, every single Alejandra Luna they've come out with, I think is beautiful. She's a newer character, so she doesn't have a lot of dolls. So kind of like a side goal of mine. It's not like a big focus, but I'd love to have every Alejandra Luna doll that gets released. I think that'd be pretty cool. So far, I don't want them if I don't like them, but all the ones they've released so far are really beautiful. And I just think she's stunning. So that's definitely like a little side mission of mine as coming uh, becoming a IT collector. Okay, I'm getting the ribbons loose. But again, Natalia, I still think is one of the most beautiful faces that they have. And then... With New Face, I know a lot of people were excited for getting um, an Aaron doll because she uh, hasn't had a doll in a while and she has a lot of fans who are excited to see her back. So that's really cool. I love that um, a lot of people are able to, you know, get characters they like. That's another thing. The IT, compared to like a play line, um, the IT doesn't release too many. Integrity Toys is what I mean by IT. Um, they don't release too many dolls a year, but they have a lot of characters. So you can go a couple years without seeing a character. Well, I guess that's kind of similar. Like, you can see even Monster High, like, certain characters get a lot of dolls, and then other characters, like, may only get one or two. And maybe you'll get more, maybe you want. Maybe you won't. Okay. I'm getting her to come out. But it's very exciting to hear that... Oh, she has a little tag on her. I don't think... Yeah, Aaron didn't come with a tag. Oh, I need to see if she has a certificate of authenticity. So, this is Natalia out of the box. I can still... I can take off her little protectors here. And she has a nice little IT like integrity toys on the back side it says fr for fashion royalty so that's kind of cool um aaron didn't come with anything like that but they are from different lines so maybe that's a normal thing with fashion royalty again this is my first fashion royalty doll oh my gosh oh my gosh i could not get this off might have to cut it off um wow she is stunning i want to look in here okay yeah so my my Natalia actually did come with a certificate of authenticity. I just didn't see it. Um, it says BBH4757. I think that's 47. The writing's a little crazy. Maybe it's 757 or 4757 out of 5,000. You guys tell me what that number is. I'm not sure. It's a. I think that's a 4 in the front, right? Or is it just a 0? I don't know. But... Um, she's out of edition of 5,000, so same edition size as Aaron. And according to other IT collectors and, like, what I've seen, these are pretty big edition sizes, which is good because there's plenty of dolls around for everybody, which is always a good thing in my mind. Um, but in the past, uh, edition sizes are typically much smaller. Okay, I'm really struggling to get her leg guard protectors off, so I'm gonna cut back to her being on her stand okay we are back i have her stand built and i want to show off her shoes before i put them on they are so cute again i'm going to show these up close later but like very cute very detailed um actually let's go ahead and remove her hairnet first so i'm pretty sure all integrity toys dolls come with a hairnet on to help preserve their hairstyle so this is her hairnet off she is so beautiful um again these dolls come with gelled hair um to preserve like their hairstyle and everything so i'm not gonna be um it's different than like when um rainbow high comes with hair gel because it's not like preserving a style necessarily it's just kind of i don't know it's just kind of a mess but with these dolls you can tell like it has like a look to it like it's really really nice look to it you can easily style it or mess with it and it's not as like thick as like rainbow hair gel 
So, oh, she actually has a couple rubber bands back here holding her dress, like, I guess to give it more of that va va voom shape in the front. Um, I guess that's pretty interesting. But now I'm gonna stick her shoes on real quick, and then we're gonna put her on her stand. Is this the wrong shoe? Okay, no, no, no. We got it right. I try to be very careful with um, these because they're more detailed, but I feel they're like more delicate, like it's easier to mess up or break something. And I definitely don't want that. So we have her made and we're gonna put her on her stand back here. And as you can, well, actually it was off camera, but they have saddle stands. So that is her on her stand. Then we have her accessories right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open them, but I'll show them up close. Actually, I'm gonna open these off camera because um, they're really small details. I don't wanna accidentally drop anything. And I'll show them up close on the other side of the camera. So let's go ahead to that. Okay, Bombshell Beach Natalia Fatale has been put all together and she is so stunning. I am so impressed with this doll. Let's go ahead and get an up close look at her. So here she is, so beautiful. She has these like grayish blue eyes with this like gold eyeshadow that fades into like a bronzish color. Really nice like thick arched eyebrows. Um, some blushing, these lips that are like a red, but kind of like fade out. I don't know how to explain it. There's not like that like super bold red, but it is really bold still. I don't know. It's like soft, but bold at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but they're so beautiful. Then she has this beautiful like brown hair, like brown golden hair with these waves in it that are so pretty. It's just perfect little like beachy look. Then we get a look at some of her accessories here. We have her um, sunglasses that are gold with like a orange tint to them. And these glasses do fold in like actual sunglasses. So that is incredible. Um, you can put them on her face. Her lashes kind of push them forward and I think they look better on top of her head here. I'll show them on her face. Oh my gosh, it is so difficult to do while on camera. Okay, there we go. We got her glasses on. Oh, they just fell off. Um, again, they're really nice. I can get them to sit. I was able to get them to sit on her face pretty nice earlier. It's kind of hard to do with one hand now. Um, but I do think they look better just like resting in her hair on the top of her head. Um, then we have her starfish sunglasses, which do have like some detailing on them, which is really nice. Oh, of course she has the rooted eyelashes, which you can see here. Then she has her nails, like these manicured nail hands that are in the color that match her lipstick. Very pretty. Then she has this bathing suit, which is very like showy it like has a high cut on the sides it shows a lot of like chest area and in the back it has some rubber banding on um i'm guessing it still sits nice i don't want to cut this yet i'll do that off camera and we'll see how it sits um i don't have the scissors on me but i do plan to possibly change her outfit so that might have to change anyway if I wasn't going to change her outfit, like, I definitely would just keep it as is because it does make it hug her body very nicely. Um, then she has this really pretty gold bracelet, chain, chain gold bracelet. And then she has these shoes, which are so cute. First, you can see her painted toenails. And then the shoes have, like, um, a vinyl see-through hot pink on top. Then we have hot pink fabric um, where her feet rest and then it's just painted um like kind of a nude color on bottom and then her uh base is just fr and it's a really big square so that is the bombshell beach natalia fatale i think she is so stunning 
and I kind of have an idea for restyling her so I'm gonna try that and then we'll jump to the other side to see how it looks and how I plan to display this beautiful doll. Okay, so some time has passed since uh, the last little snippet of the video. It's actually been like a week or so. Um, you can see Erin back there. I just finished her review and I'm excited to show you guys Natalia. I've had these dolls for about a week and a half, two weeks now. So they, I've had a lot of time to like look at them, restyle them and pose them and all these other things. And I'm really happy with them and I'm very excited to show you guys my restyled Natalia Fatale. Now, Erin, honestly, it was just more about like combining the accessories I wanted to use, but with Natalia, I made a big difference because this is Natalia Fatale and how I have been displaying her. So for starters, obviously, this is a robe you guys have not seen before. Um, this robe is something I got off of Etsy. I don't know if I can find the shop. If I do, I'll like tag them down below or link it down below. If it's not down there, I couldn't find it. I'm sorry. Uh, but I originally got this for a Rainbow High doll, actually. And it does fit Rainbow High, but I would just wasn't in love with it. And honestly, I thought it was white, more white, but it came out cream. So I wasn't feeling it. But seeing it now on Natalia, I think it's absolutely stunning beautiful piece and Natalia she was in a bathing suit and I think this really levels her up and she has very like bedroom dreamy eyes and with this hair I'm just obsessed and then for shoes I have her wearing Erin Solston's night out original shoes because Erin's in the accessory pack shoes you can see them back there so these are Erin's shoes that have them on not that you can really see them but yeah this is Natalia I've the only thing she's wearing is the robe actually I think Okay, yes, actually, she's still wearing her um, gold, like, little bracelet because I didn't want to lose it. Um, but, yeah, so this is Natalia displayed in this robe. I am obsessed with Natalia. Um, when I first opened them, Natalia was the one I was like, more excited for. Then when I, as soon as I actually unboxed them, Aaron was winning. But I think in the end, especially with this restyle, Natalia definitely comes out on top for me. I'm obsessed with her. She's so beautiful, so stunning, very, like... I don't know. I feel like she was meant to wear this robe. I just didn't know it. So I like, I've had this just in my collection waiting for the moment when I was like, oh, this is the person to wear that. And I think it now belongs to solely Natalia. She is so beautiful. And I think she's a really amazing doll. Really detailed. Um, the one thing I didn't show is articulation. I didn't show that with Aaron either. Um, your articulation's uh, really nice. They have articulation here at the elbow, at the wrist, the upper arm, um, and then at the knees, you can see here, they have the knee articulation and at the hip. So it's pretty good articulation, 360 movement in the head, as you can see with the pose that I have, it kind of tilted back. But yeah, so very, very beautiful doll. And like I said in the Aaron review, if you didn't watch that, I'm gonna say the same thing here. As far as talking about whether they're worth it, I really feel like that's up to the collector. These are very expensive dolls to collect. Um, they are not your typical like Playline doll. They are high quality, but they are also really higher price points. So I think that really comes down to the collector and whether you think they're worth it. For me, I'm happy with them. I love her. I love Erin as well. They're, I'm happy to have them extended into my collection. But also, if someone thinks they're overpriced, I'm not going to fight you on it because they are very expensive dolls. So I think... The higher the price point, the more um, the more touchy it is as far as price point and affordability and all of that. But I'm very happy with this doll, and I'm really excited for this W Club uh, year that's been going on so far. We haven't seen any of the W Club exclusives other than the three upgrade dolls. And so I'm excited to see what other dolls can come out this year. I'm enjoying it so far. Again, there's like a feather in the way. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in W Club, but for right now, I'm really enjoying myself and I'm enjoying my collect collection growing with Integrity Toys. Let me know down below what you think about Natalia. What do you think about the robe? Um, do you think she was better as like the beachy look? Should I change her back into that? Because I, honestly, I almost did that. I was like obsessed with this. Then I was like, but the beach look was kind of a moment too. So let me know what you like better, the beach look that she comes with or this robed look. Um... Are you an uh, Integrity Toys collector or not? Uh, let me know, and I guess that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.